that evening, putting money towards Anchorage's large homeless camps. Tonight, the Anchorage Assembly has okayed spending more than $200,000. Steve Kurtz tells us members say the funding will help address crime and public health issues. Steve. Rebecca, the $220,000 the Assembly unanimously approved, members say, will be split, be split between the Anchorage Police Department, Health Department, and Parks and Recreation to address the crime and public health issues in some homeless communities. During a special meeting today, the discussion focused on North Anchorage and Midtown homeless camps. Members saying it's not sustainable for vulnerable populations living inside the camps and for nearby homeowners and businesses. The assembly saying a portion of the money will be used to pay for clean restrooms, clean water, and improved sanitation. Some attending were eager to hear a majority of the money will be used to increase police presence around large encampments. What we want to do, which we have not done yet, is to have a dedicated number of officers, typically four, to be able to provide constant attention to that area on a regular basis and the same officers providing that coverage. If APD is able to allocate the actual physical resources and implement the, uh, the strategy and plan that was outlined today by the deputy chief, I think that, um, that we can see some real difference in the next 40 days. The Assembly and Police Department said this is just a short-term solution. The emergency cold weather shelter plan will be activated on, on October 15th, they said. And at that time, most of the people in the large encampments will be housed in non-congregate housing when the temperature drops below 45 degrees. Rebecca? Thank you. And in case you missed it, our investigative team recently